All right. Just thought I'd bring y'all in on this. Um, I went on Facebook and uh, Marketplace, and I was at work. Lady listed this lawn tractor, and the way I seen it in the picture was just like this. That's all I seen. Um, didn't know what it was. I just knew it was a riding lawnmower. It was free. Um, so I told her I would get up, was getting off work at five and I would be by to pick this up. Um, I get there and she said it was heavy, um, to bring, bring some help. So I brought, took my son with me and I grabbed this trailer and we went over and picked it up. Um, got there and it's a Gilson. Um, haven't seen a Gilson in person till today. I've heard of it. I know a little history. I don't know a whole lot about Gilson, but I'll tell you what I do know. Um, John P. Gilson, I believe was his name, and his brother Michael Gilson, I believe it was, were descendants of a Theodore Gilson. Um, he was an immigrant. He came over here. And then in 1850, I believe it was, started what eventually became Gilson Manufacturing. Um, the brothers John and Michael both worked at that company. They worked at Gilson Manufacturing. They went out on a venture of their own and started what became... Um, Gilson Brothers Company. They done this in 1911, I believe it was. At that time, the Gilson Brothers' main products were limestone grinders, feed cutters, and concrete mixers. Um, they made a bunch of other stuff, um, but that was, that was their main main thing, I believe. Um, in 1988, um, they went at the the company, the Gilson Manufacturing and Gilson. Uh, the brothers company um, were out of Plymouth, Wisconsin. Um, in 1988, um, the company was acquired by Lawn Boy. Most of y'all know Lawn Boy. Um, anyway, um, Lawn Boy bought them out. Lawn Boy itself was acquired by Toro in 1989. Um, it's got some cool little hubcaps. Check that out. And it's got all four of them. Um, and then, like I said, um, Lawn Boy was acquired by Toro um, the next year. And at this point, production of the Gilson brand of lawn and snow equipment had ceased. The Gilson line of concrete mixers was sold to a company out of Missouri, which at the time was Cleform, um, which was acquired in 2010 by Marshalltown Company, which is, everybody knows is now Marshalltown Tools, um, out of uh, Iowa, I think was the one that acquired it. Um, Marshalltown is all over the place. We've got uh, Marshalltown Tools and the city north of us and the city south of us. So, anyway, they're still in business. Um, anyway, the Gilson uh, Brothers, um, they produced a wide, wide range of products. Um, they had crushers, rototillers, feed cutters, concrete mixers, mini bikes, um, snowmobiles, barbecue grills, um, snow blowers, snow throwers, lawn and garden tractors, of course. Um, they were produced under, they were sold under a lot of Gilson, uh, typical, you know, they were sold under a lot of different names. The, the typical color was, of course, this orange, um, orange color, you know, the orange and beige color scheme. Um, they were also sold and rebranded under the names of Montgomery Ward, Lawn Boy, Ford, Snow Charger. I mean, I'm sure y'all have heard of Snow Charger. Wizard, of course. Um, Plymouth, 
Marshall Wells, and there's others. Um, most of the Gilson snowblowers and equipment, have, of course, had the Briggs, and this one has the Briggs. Um, it has, I don't know exactly what size it is, but it does have a Briggs. Um, it's a hydrostatic power lift. Um, it's not locked up, I did check that. It's got a 16 horse um, Briggs on it. Like I said, I like the hubcaps though. But anyway, that's what I do know about them. Um, I do know they uh, sold under Unitrol. Um, they had a patent. Um, they had other patents. They had the Snow Cannon, um, which had the two-stroke engines. Um, this was a 1980, I believe. Um, they also... Um, we're in Gas Engine Magazine, January, February, 1977. Um, a, they had a patent for a single lever control. That was issued in 1972, I believe 625 of 72. They also had a patent for a single handle implement with belt-driven impeller. Um, that was issued in 73. And then, of course, the snowblower patent was issued in 1980 so that's just a little bit I mean you can look up a lot more information on it um, I don't know what year this is um, like I said I just happened to go lady had it for free um, they bought a house and it was left there so um, when I come around the corner I'd seen the word Gilson and I hadn't seen one in person but I've heard about them and I knew a little history of them, but that's about all I knew. But anyway, I know the steering's kind of jacked up, but we may just restore this one. And um, if we do, I'll bring you back on it. But I just thought y'all might like to like to see something, you know, vintage. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've done enough rambling. Um, but if you want any other information, that's I'm just telling you what I do know about Gilson. Um, you'll have to find out any more if you want to know anything else on it. That's about all I remember. Thanks for watching.